So we are doing session two on knowing your numbers. Okay, let's. Yeah, Abhi. Sir. Sir, last class you gave us the sum to solve it out. I know, I know. I'll come back to that uh, puzzle. Don't worry, Meet. I'll come back to that. So first, let's start off with the class. In between the class, I'll pick up the puzzle. Don't worry. Okay. Brilliant. Come on. I want all of you to solve this problem. Find the greatest four-digit number using the digits 9381 without repetition such that one is at the third place of the number. Nine eight one three. Okay. Nine eight one three. So you mentioned in the chat box. What is your option? Three one. Okay. Someone says nine eight. Nine eight three one. Nine eight three one. So okay. So I heard one voice saying nine eight three one. Another voice saying nine eight three one. I think. Let me see who else has some other. Someone told me 9813. Okay, let's. Sir, I said 9813. Sir, hey, I, I know, I know. 9813. Yes, Devansh. I know, I know. So, Devansh, option C, which is 9831. Sir, Abhi Pragya. Sir, Abhi Pragya, sir, option D. Option D, I know, I know. Okay, so unless we are discussing any question, Okay, whoever wants to talk, you can always mention in the chat box. I'll ask you to speak. Okay, otherwise what happens is all of you will end up speaking over each other. Okay, very good. Devan says option D. Siddharth also says option D. Okay, uh, whereas uh, I saw, you know, Fazil saying option C. Okay, I see these different answers. Okay, let me give a chance to... Uh, Siddharth. Siddharth, can you explain the problem? Can you explain the problem to the class? You can switch on your mic and you can talk. Me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you explain? Sir, because uh, one is at third place of okay. the number. Okay. So it will be 9813 because one is on the third place in 9813. Okay, okay, okay. So wait, Siddharth. It's a it's a wrong answer. Let me give you a chance. Wait for a moment. Okay. Anyone else who is confident about your answer? Anyone who is confident and wants to discuss? Anyone? Okay, Abhi Pragya, go ahead. Sir, sir the answer is nine eight one three because. Okay. Then we have to take the largest digit and by keeping the one at the third place. Okay. So first we will place the largest digit. So that are nine eight. Okay. So then, so then the answer is needing the one at the third place. So first we will place the one at the third place and mm -hmm. then we will add the three number. Third Very number. Good. Okay. So so one of the reasons I gave this question is to. Uh, you know, help you with something interesting in numbers will come there. I would like to give a chance to anyone else. Okay. Option C. Someone said option C. Someone said option D. I'm saying both the both the answers are wrong. Is there anyone who can tell me what is the right answer? Yeah, Devan. 9183. But before you said it is 9813. Because you told it was wrong, that's why. <laughs> Very good, Devansh. Okay, so good. So everyone concentrate. Let's let's discuss some fundamentals about numbers. Okay, so when we started our life, when we started numbers uh, in life, how did you start learning numbers in your life? Anyone? Okay, so meet 9813, I already told the class. That 9813 is a wrong answer. Okay, so now we'll come to the right answer later. Meanwhile, I'm asking a question. How did you start learning numbers in life when you started off in your fundamental classes? Third, fourth, fifth, whenever you started learning numbers, tell me where did you start with? Did you learn 
2356 or did you start with 1 or did you start with 0 i started with 6 learning learning num learning num numbers will be yeah. start started on 1 from 1 from 1 yes. very good okay so let me let me let me explain concentrate everyone so when we started off numbers if you remember in your childhood we started with counting numbers right we started with the counting numbers we said 1 2 3 Four, so on till nine. After that, we started saying ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, right? Twelve, thirteen, so on till ninety-nine. And then, what did we learn after that? Then we started learning hundred, right? Hundred, hundred and one, hundred and two, so on till nine hundred and ninety-nine. After nine hundred and ninety-nine, what did we do? We learned thousand, correct? So this is how we learned. Now tell me, which position is out of the numbers? If I have a four-digit number, when we started learning numbers, did we start from here or did we start from here? Did we start from right or did we start from left? Left is no. We did not start from left. We started from right. We started from right. One. Two, three. That position, this particular position, is a units place, right? We say this is units place. We say this is units place. What do we say to this? We say it's a tens place. We say this as hundreds place, and we say this is thousands place. That's what you learned in your basic standards. Am I right? Sir, sir can I uh, tell the answer? No, no, no. I'm, see, Meet once have given a chance. We are done with the question. We are discussing fundamentals now. So here, what I want you to learn is, I'll give you a chance, Meet. Wait. So we started learning positions using this position. So units position. Then we went to tens position. This is hundreds position. Then thousands position. So if you can concentrate, we started from units place. So this is your always the first position when someone says is this position. Someone says second position, it is this position. Someone says third position, it is this position. someone says fourth position this is this position so the position starts from right hand side it doesn't start from left hand side okay just because when you look at the numbers are so i look at the number say like this 9813 therefore 9813 1 is in the third position that is a mistake that most of the students make so i want you to understand fundamentally numbers start from units place then go to tens place then go to hundreds place then go to thousands place therefore the numbering starts from right to left so it's 1 2 3 and fourth position so now what is the question said question is saying that such that one is at the third place now one should be in the third place now let's yeah now meet i'm sure you can answer but uh, let me explain so that is good for the class so that in the next question you get a chance to answer okay now okay very good so he say such that one is at the third place so that the answer is b yeah answer is b i'm sure i'm sure by now everyone understood everyone understood but let me explain wait 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 so one comes in the first third position now he's asking you find the greatest four digit number greatest in the sense i want a number which is greatest so what is the greatest single digit i can put it here now if i want greatest i should always nine. yeah nine. nine very good now and he is saying repetition is without repetition that means the number should not be repeated out of these numbers 9381 no number should be repeated nine is coming here and one is fixed here because it has to be in the third position right now you want this position to be filled now tell me which one will come here now it will be 8 because the next big number is 8 so for it is 918 and the only eight. number left is 3 therefore it is 9183 okay so let me see now how many of you will answer this question which is a continue you know i'm just asking from this problem only now tell me now tell me i want everyone to answer, write their answer in the chat box you are not shouting if you shout uh, it will be lost if you write it in the chat box everyone will get to know your answer okay we can discuss 
I'm I'm reading the question now. Find the least four digit number using the digits nine three eight and one without repetition, such that one is in the third. Oh, one, one, one three eight nine. No, no, I'm not. Fazil, listen to the question. Such that one. Is in the, no, that's the reason I said you are not shouting. Everyone is going to type it in the chat box. I repeat the question. Find the least four-digit number using the digits nine, three, eight, and one without repetition, such that one is at the second place of the number. Second place of the number. I've made a few changes to the question. I made few changes to the question. I am saying instead of greatest, I am saying least. And instead of greatest, one three eight nine. I want answers written in the chat box. Three one eight nine. Fazil, can you write it in the chat box? Your answer. Three one. Three one eight nine. Three one eight nine. Okay, but uh, you know I would. You are unable to use that box, Fazil. No, 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 no. Fazil, you are Fazil, your mic has your mic has a problem. Keep yourself in mute and use the chat box. Okay, three one eight nine. Devan says three eight one nine. Okay, okay, very good. So, what's the right answer? I said one is at the second place. Now the question is very clear. We need one in the second place. What do you mean by one in the second place? One has to come in the. No, second you have place. said third place. Okay, you want third. You want to do third place? No, I changed the question. You can see you did not allow me to. Yeah. Please take a look. I return there on the board. That's take okay, right? Okay. So I'm saying here I've already returned in the second place. Very good. So second place from here is this position. I need one here. Now I want a least four digit. Least four digit. So what is the position I need to fill? Now I need to fill this position. Right, that position should start with the smallest number, right? After one is over, what's the smallest number left? It's three, so it is three here. And what do we have? We need what in this position? Now, in this position, what is the next least number that we can fill? It will be eight, and this position will be nine. So your answer is three eight one nine. Yeah, but I have done for the uh, third. No problem. So no problem, so okay, no problem Abhipragya. Did you understand the concept? Yes, that is sir. more important. All of you have understood the concept. If you have understood the concept, mention yes in the chat box. If you have not understood, say no. If you have understood, mention yes. Okay, Parbasha says yes. Abhipragya says yes. Good. Good, wonderful. Let's go to the